Hello, in this video we are going to cover more grid sizes within the bootstrap grid system. At the moment all we did was XS which stands for extra small screen sizes but what also happens with the grid sizes is if you set a size for a smaller grid or a smaller screen so we've done XS it basically bubbles up to bigger screen sizes so if we do something for extra small and we don't set anything for medium large and I mean small medium large and extra large it will actually bubble up if we set something for extra small and small but we don't set anything beyond small it will bubble up from small so that's the way the grid system works it actually bubbles up it doesn't ripple down or anything so if you were to set something for the extra large screen size you won't ripple down those properties won't if you go to your web browser and there'll be a link in the description to this so you don't need to remember this but we'll just show you the layout grid from bootstrap there are a bunch of different properties for it so we got the extra small small medium large and extra large this is a size of 34 em this is greater than or equal to 34 em greater than or equal to 48 em for medium large is greater than or equal to 62 em and extra large is greater than or equal to 75 em and it also tells you the grid behavior the container width so this is the default one that is applied if there is no like, nothing else applied it also shows you the class prefix at the moment if we just scroll down or just move this down we put cold dash xs which dictates we're using the extra small to use small you do sm to do medium you do md to do large you do lg and well lg like life's good or lucky gold star as they used to be or extra large is xl then you put dash and you put the number of columns they all still support 12 columns there is a gutter width of 30 pixels aka 15 pixels on each side of the column and the nestable offsets and column ordering but let's just show you what this gutter width is we go to our page that we've already done as you can see we put hello world but it's not flush to the edge and the reason is i'll show you you right click inspect element if you're using a different browser the inspect element or inspecting the dom will be slightly different and if we just click on one of these columns as you can see the main content is right here but we have some padding on the left and the right and as the website said 15 pixels on the left and 15 pixels on the right so that's just something to bear in mind you can obviously overwrite that using CSS that's not an issue at all so let's start covering some of these other column sizes so at the moment we've got extra small but I want to change the extra small to 12 so what this will do is put them on top of each other so if I do that and save it open up the web browser refresh actually let's just close this right here as you can see they're on top of each other because the bootstrap column system has 12 different spaces within the columns of 12 columns and if you try and put more than 12 columns on one particular row you won't work it'll actually bump it down to the next row or one after each other as you can see 12 and i think this looks great if you're on a small screen like this because it's fantastic because otherwise it was all bunched together and if you had a lot of content you wouldn't be able to read it but on a big screen size there's a lot of wasted space as you can see so what we're going to do is do call dash xl i'm going to work my way down i like to work downwards i know some people like to work from the smallest screen upwards it's just personal preference i'm going to put dash 2 i'm going to put call dash xl dash 2 call dash xl dash 2 save that refresh our browser and as you can see we have these columns with a space of two so two four six there's still six remaining on this row because remember we can have 12 column spaces and if i start resizing as you can see it's bumped down to the extra small this isn't an extra small screen size because remember i said if you don't set the properties for different screen sizes it just bubbles up so it's bubbled up for the extra small which is 12 but what we're going to do is set largeness so of coal dash lg 
dash free. I'm gonna put call dash lg dash free. Call dash lg dash free. Save that bad boy. Run it. And now if I start resizing it, as you can see, it's now resized it so it hits the large breakpoint because that's what they are that's the way it does it in CSS now it's got three six nine I could have one more of these and then after that you'll go on to separate rows I'm going to set the medium screen size so col dash MD dash four I think four will be good so we get a equal number of three on each row so col dash MD dash four put call dash md dash four save that refresh our browser it doesn't change but if we start resizing it as, okay there we go so that's don't know why it didn't show then but it is now okay so we have our extra large we start resizing it we're now on a large screen so keep going keep going and now we've actually hit medium so we have three columns which are of four grid spaces so four eight twelve and finally let's set the small screen size so cold dash sm dash i'm going to put it at six because i think two next to each other will be good you'll have enough space to show enough information but you won't make it cramped dash sm dash six refresh now if we start resizing this as you can see it didn't cut it off it put it on top of each other because we got 6 12 we can't have any more grid spaces than 6 so we got 6 12 and then it started again 6 and then we could obviously have 12 more also what you can do you don't have to have each column or each like element as the same amount of grid spaces as the next element and the element before you can vary them up and we actually recommend that you check that out because that's a very very powerful feature we'll have a separate video on that as well so thank you for watching please rate comment and subscribe as it does really help keep the content free plus it also helps us provide more videos like this one on a regular basis if you have any questions feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php there'll be a link in the description to that it's our free education platform with thousands of completely free videos we'll also have a link in the description to our github page which will have the source code for this video and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day